Welcome back. It is another edition of New Guitar Day. It is October the 25th, 2018. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. Just got a package. Kitty has to inspect the package because that's what Kitty does. This comes from Middletown, New York, Alto Music. We're trying something totally new. Uh, even though last week we got a Supro guitar, it was more of a conventional style guitar. This is a Supro White Holiday. I have no idea. This is totally, totally something different for me. Uh, it should be noted the box was a little bit hammered, uh, but it didn't look like there was any obvious damage to the box. And this guitar comes, I'm sure, with another box on the inside. And it also comes in a case, so I'm pretty assured that it should be in fairly good shape. Yep, let's see if we've got another box on the inside. So we'll go ahead and whip that out. Sorry, Kitty. And here's the inner box, which unlike our previous guitar... Sorry, Kitty. This one is factory sealed, or sealed by somebody, so it's got the seal, you'll notice, which is always a good thing, and, oh yeah, so this is a vintage style case, let's make sure we're getting this on the camera, let's pull it in the view here, because this is a mistake we made in the past. This is a really sweet deal because this guitar came with a case. And we'll take it out of this box. And again, I have no idea what the world of the White Holiday is like. Let's free it from its little bag. And we'll make sure with this one that we open it within the range of the camera. Definitely a sweet case. Totally vintage, which is nice. By the way, from what I read, the original White Holiday from Supro was a two-year guitar. Let's pull this into camera range. Kitty wants to come back in, as Kitty likes to inspect. Was uh, produced in 1964 and 1965. So without further ado, Let's take a look. Ah, and it's in its hermetically sealed bag as well. So let's just do a quick pop. Here's the truss tools. Take that out of its hermetically sealed popper. Slide it back in the case for view. Has this crazy, and I've heard people talk about this paper being sort of oily, and thus leaving sort of an oily film on the string. So, well, but doesn't that look pretty? Have no idea how it will play, and of course, at the end of the day. A pretty face means nothing if it doesn't play well. I'm going to take this off carefully in case for some reason it has to be returned. I don't imagine that it would. There you go. Gaze upon it. That is a really, really nice looking guitar. But as we know, looks don't mean everything. So, but it's a pretty looking guitar. So we're going to go play it and inspect it to greater detail. I'm going to trust that the people at Alto and Supro sent me a nice guitar. It should have no issues. But it really is pretty. The action is fairly high, but again, I'm sort of a high action kind of guy. Um, Let's check the fret ends. Oh, they feel very nice. A little, little sharp up at the top, but 
nice otherwise you know initial inspection on oh, it is a 2017 which is really sweet uh, yeah we're gonna go play it neck has an interesting feel to it probably should just let it warm up but it's it's here so so there you go it's all about playability so we're gonna go play this tune it up stretch out the strings and uh, there you go. I'm getting faster and faster at these. Uh, couldn't be happier with the look. It's just really sweet. I just really hope it plays reasonable. If it's a reasonable guitar, got it for a really good price. So, Supra White Holiday. Okay, I will be back for part two of our video. Okay, we're back for part two. I just played the guitar for an hour, and I must say, it's a very nice guitar. It, uh, the usual brand new guitar, you have to stretch the strings, tune it up, stretch them again, tune it up, and then once everything got settled in, it holds tune really nice. The intonation is very good. Wasn't sure about a wooden the lightning bolt bridge, I think that's what they call it, but it seems to do fine. I'm not a trem user, so I didn't use that much. Uh, again, my first impressions are it's just a really nice guitar, and you can't argue with the fact that it's as cool as cool can be, at least for my taste. Just a really cool looking guitar, totally retro. Um, so I'm really pleased with it. My only concern, and of course there always has to be one concern, is the headstock badge the plastic headstock badge is slightly warped and it's just plastic and my concern is this edge right here is sticking up and at some point it's going to catch on something and whoosh that will be the end of the lightning bolt so I'm going to see if Supro's got some some spares I'd feel better if I had a couple spares on call because uh, as it sits at the moment I certainly plan on keeping this guitar for a while, and I think that's the only weak spot that I can find. So, good job, Supo. Um, I think their only mistake was in the beginning they priced these a little higher than the market would bear. Uh, and I'm just glad I waited and again got what I think is a really good deal, and it came with a classic case. Not the most heavy duty case in the world, but certainly a nice case. Will protect the guitar for years to come if I take care of it. And, uh, yeah, I'm just, again, initial impressions. I could always come back and say, holy moly, I found something. It's terrible. But I went over the guitar pretty good, and it just looks really nice. And what's so interesting about this Rezo top, Rezo glass top, is it's solid as a rock. You know, they, it's obviously a well thought out and has the mahogany chambered back. It weighs, I'm going to guess. In fact, let's weigh it. I'll be right back. So according to my scale, it comes in at 8 pounds even, uh, which is a little heavier than I thought it would be. I guess that mahogany back. So when you think of a rezo glass or a fiberglass top guitar, and you think it's going to be a lightweight, 8 pounds is a nice feeling guitar. That's about the top of my limit that I like, and it feels just right. You know, it's a good solid guitar. It doesn't, you know, doesn't not going to fly out of your hands. So anyways, that concludes our unboxing and very brief review of the Supro White Holiday. I believe this is Dawn White is the color. And uh, again, being patient and waiting and certainly not paying the top price out of the gate. Uh, this guitar is worth more than I paid for it for sure. I won't mention the price, but I do thank Alto Music for the great deal. Really sweet guitar. and. Uh, there you go, October the 25th, 2018. A beautiful Thursday. We're still having Indian summer, so the weather is just really pleasant outside. I'm going to go take a walk, and we'll be back for some afternoon playtime. Thank you for joining us.